Hello, God's children. Jesus loves you. The update on the rapture and the book of Revelation, chapter 1. Um, there was two earthquakes today. One was in uh, Tennessee, which is 2.0. And then another one was in Kansas, which is 3.9. Um, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry recently threatened President Mohammed Abbas that if he would turn down the Washington proposal for peace with Israel, you know, they would get the same kind of fate that uh, Yashu Arafat went through, the same threat. Um, so many things going on with earthquakes in the Middle East, and this peace treaty. Um, we do not know the day and hour our Lord Jesus will come back. Only the Father knows. Redemption is near. Be ready. The book of Revelation, chapter 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ begins with a clear statement of origin and purpose. It is given to Jesus by God to show his servants things which must soon take place. It is designed to bless those who read, hear, and keep the words of prophecy. John then addresses the seven churches in Asia, offering grace, peace from each member of Godhead, with descriptions of terms which must be more significant later in, this, in the epistle. His greeting is followed with a declaration concerning the Lord's coming and self designations as expressed by the Lord himself. At this point, John explains how he was commissioned to record the revelation. While on the island of Patmos, likely in exile for preaching the word of God, he was in the spirit on the Lord's day when he heard a loud, a loud voice behind him. The voice identified himself as El. Alpha, Omega, the first and the last, and then charged him to write what he saw in the seven churches in Asia. Turning to see the voice, John saw seven golden lampstands in their midst of the Son of Man, describing the awesome appearance of the Son of Man and his own reaction. John then recorded how Jesus comforted and then charged him to write what he was seeing and will see. The chapter ends in the Lord's explanations that the seven stars in their right hand and represent the angels, messengers, of the seven churches and the seven lampstands, significantly the seven churches themselves. The book uh, of this, the chapter was written to specify the churches and things that would come soon take place. The implications of that is said about Jesus is the greeting by John and the words himself of Jesus himself. Um, kind of the introduction, um, the first verse, verse, uh, one through eight, um, the introduction and the benediction, uh, verse one through three, um, the introducing the revelation of Jesus Christ. Let me take you to, uh, you know, chapter revelation, chapter one, verse one through two, uh, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show that his servants things that must shortly come to pass. And he went to and sent and signified by his angels unto his servant John, who bare record the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and all things that he saw. Um, basically over these two verses, it's which God gave him to show his servants regarding things which must shortly take place sent and signified by his angel to his servant John who bore witness to the word of God to the testimony of Jesus Christ and to all things that he saw now the benediction I'll take you to uh, Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 blessed is he that readeth that they hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand and uh, basically this verse kind of goes over blessed is he who reads and those who hear this prophecy blessed are those who keep those things are written in it for the time is near now I'll take you to the greetings to the seven churches which is through verses 4 through 6 um, from John to the seven churches in Asia let me take you to um, Revelation uh, chapter 1, verse 4 through 6. Uh, John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, 
grace to be unto you and peace from him which is which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne and from Jesus Christ who was faithful witness and from the and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that he loved us he washed us from our sins in his own blood he hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him to be glory and dominion forever and ever amen okay basically these four um, verses uh, four through six go through um, you know the seven churches in Asia it goes with the grace and the peace from him who is and who was and who is to come from the seven spirits who are before his throne from Jesus Christ he's the, he's the faithful witness he's the firstborn from the dead the ruler over the kings of the earth who loved us and washed us from our sins from his own blood he who he made us kings and priests to his God and Father whom to be glory and dominion forever and ever okay announcement of Christ is coming and this is in verse 7 let me take you to Revelation 1 verse 7 Behold, he comes with the clouds, and every eye shall see him. And then also with pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. And this verse kind of goes over, um, he is coming with clouds. Every eye shall see him, and, though, and they also who pierced him. All the tribes of earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen. So be it. Um, the eighth verse talks about the self designation and let me take you to Revelation 1 verse 8 I am Alpha Omega the beginning and the ending says the Lord which is which was and which is to come the Almighty okay this verse kind of talks about I am the Alpha and the Omega in the beginning and the end who is and who was and who is to come the Almighty now we're going to get the vision of the son of man and that's verses through 9 through 20. now i'm going to take you to uh I'm going to go to john's circumstances leading up to the vision and this will go through verses 9 through uh 10. and i'm going to take you to revelation 1 verses 9 through 10. i john who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that was called Flatmos in the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ I was in the spirit on the day Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet okay basically this is this these two um, verses kind of go over their brothers and companion uh, they're in tribulation in the kingdom and presence of Jesus Christ there he's on John's on the island called Patmos you know it's for the word of God it's for the testimony of Jesus Christ and he's in the spirit of the Lord's day then uh, also what he heard behind him you know and uh, also he in uh, verse 10 he heard a loud voice as a trumpet and then uh, saying unto him in verse uh, 11 which I'll take you to Revelation 1 verse 11 saying I am the Alpha Omega the first and the last and what those cease write in the book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia unto Ephesus and unto Simra and unto Paragomas and unto Tartria and unto Sarah's and unto Philadelphia and unto Lorticia. Okay. Levin is saying, uh, talking about I am the Alpha, Omega, and the first and the last. What you will see, we'll write in this book. Send it to the seven churches which are in Asia. And uh, what he saw in his reaction, you know, when John saw it, what it was his reaction. And now those will be in verses 12 through 17. And I'm going to take you through, uh, 
would take you to Revelation 1, verse 12 through 16. And I turned to see the voice that spanked with me, and being churned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one of them unto the Son of Man, clothed with garment down to the foot, and a girth with paps of golden girdle. And his head, his hairs were like white wool and white as snow, and his eyes were as, as flame as fire. And his feet were into a fine brass, if they were burned in furnace, and his voice was the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth with a sharp sword, and his contentious was the sun shineth in his strength. Okay, these uh, verses 12 through 6, you know, he turned to see the voice, and it was the seven golden lampstands. In the midst of the seven lampstands, one was like the son of man, clothed with a garment down to his feet, girdled about the chest with the golden band, his head and his hair white as wool, white as snow. His eyes were what? Like flame and fire. His feet were like fine brass and refined in furnace. His voice as sound of many waters, his right hand seven stars, out of his mouth a sharp two-edged sword, in his contentions like a sun shining in his strength. Seeing him, John fell to his feet, you know, as he is dead. And let me take you to uh, Revelation uh, 1, verse 17. And I saw him, and I fell, fell at my feet as dead, and he laid the his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Okay. So basically, he, John, seeing him, fell down to his feet dead. It was like he's dead. Okay, the last, the Lord's words to John. And this is going to be through uh, uh, verse 17 through 20. Do not be afraid. Let me take you to... Uh, Revelation uh, 1, verse 17, 17 through 18. And when I saw him, I felt my feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that lived and was dead, and behold, I am alive forever. Amen. And have the keys to hell and of death. Okay. Basically, this one is talking about, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forever. Amen. I have the keys to Hades and of death. Um, okay, let me take you to Revelation 1, verse 19. Write these things which are those you've seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. So basically... 19 is talk about the things of which you have seen and uh, things of which are and the things which will take place after this the mystery of the seven stars the seven golden lamps is in the last verse of revelation let me take you to revelation 1 verse 20 the mystery of the seven stars which are sauce in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which are saw as the seven churches okay this one's kind of talking about the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches the seven lampstands are the seven churches um, so basically that's what the revelation is about the visions and the things to come with the churches um, you know we gotta be ready for Jesus we don't know the day and hour when our Lord Jesus comes only the Father knows be ready. Jesus loves you. God bless.